Hey guys, this is DT Gaming. Welcome back to a new uh episode of the show twenty three. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Book Shambi. Welcome to the show. So we continue with Road to the uh, Road to the Show. Uh, last one we didn't do too do too well. Kind of sucked. <laughs> Let's just get right straight to it. Uh, we're going against the uh, Barons again. They're 1-0 and we're 0-1. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Birmingham Barons and the Tennessee Smokies. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. And now, please welcome your Tennessee Smokies. I was able to change my name around. Um, Just I about got... ready to go. And on the hill today, Javier Assad. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, because he doesn't have plus stuff, it's going to be critical that his skipper keeps a close eye on him. Second time, third time through the order, we see the OPS jump dramatically. I put my last name as Junior because my dad was a so senior and I'm a junior. Now so it makes sense. Gilbert Sanchez let off the game with a strikeout. Bases loaded, two down. On the ground, right side. And he'll be safe at first. What was that? You know, two out errors are kind of like two out walks, and sometimes even worse. You know, you think you're out of the inning, but all of a sudden, you get another out to get, and the offense has a great opportunity. They're looking to take advantage of and make you pay for it. And a pitch. Liner picked on the hop at first. And they get the and out. Ah. Uh. The right fielder. New inning getting started. And I thought it was a good hit. Adam Hazley. Adam Hazley. Got no one out now. Assad back to work. On the ground, right side. Junior picks it up. Safe at first as they can't make uh, the ball. Why won't you throw the ball? Brian Ramos. Ah, uh, there's that glitching. Man crap. at first with one gone. At the play. DJ Gladney. One for one with a single so far. If I could run it faster than throwing it. On the ground, out to short. One at second. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. So one out, now nobody back. on. Number 21 Carlos will hit next. Perez. to the right side and it's through for a hit so a man aboard now with one away the batter number 11 short time. here's the second baseman David Jr. over oh, one he grounded Zero. out to first his last time he's got pop which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field but he can jump you if you make a mistake and first offering is fouled off. Here's an opportunity. If you're going to get back in this game, you have to take advantage of this situation. This feels like their chance. Runner, yes, Here's yes. the pitch. Both runners on the move. Next offering is fouled back. Here's the 0-2. 
Got him swinging. No. He swung over top of the curveball. Oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. The right Two field strikes, field. sort of pitch six. you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake. Now bad. One gone runner at first. Bad. Number 27 now at the plate. Corner infielders up on the grass expecting a bunt. One out. We got one. Drops a bunt down the first base side. Quick feed to second for one, but no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. Now batting, the catcher, Carlos Perez. Number 21, the next to hit. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And he deals. To the right side, Junior over to pick it up. And the inning is over. Out of there. No runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Barons lead it four to nothing. I'd rather just run it. Ready to go for the, the last throw in this game is ridiculous. The second baseman, David second Junior. Baseman. <laughs> the Smokies in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And here it comes. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Didn't take long to get a result They're for right that field, at bat. I need to keep an eye that pitch, the so they don't way try to line. move you know, hitters by himself. So many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did I it. Awesome, I got and you can feel this crowd someone out because the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Righty delivers. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Oh, nice job right there. He struck him out twice. The pitch before looked yeah, like it was strike three. Doesn't, doesn't get the call. Hit. Bears down. Throws another quality pitch for the strikeout. Now, Esteban Quiroz. Come on, big guy. Get your pitch, huh? Here comes a pitch. In the air right field. Number 27 gets under it. And yeah, there's two away. The batter number 10, shortstop, Reginald. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Reginald Preciato. Hey, come on now, big dog, get your pitch. And that's ball, ball four. Oh, very close with the location right there. It's just tough to get rewarded on the call now with pitches batting. near the top of the strike zone. On, and now it's Miguel Amaya. He's all for one. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. And a swing and a miss. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Oh, fan cam. Here's the second baseman, Gilbert Sanchez. Gilbert Estrada, 6'1 righty, 24 years old, and he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2017. Now the one. Double play ball to second. Junior tags the runner for one. Here at the bottom of the ninth, one out. And next will be the cleanup hitter, David Jr., one for three. Hey, let her rip one time. The pitch. To third, Ramos gloves it. Now only one out remaining. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. 
Well, you win this one four to nothing, and it feels like you could have exploded for more offensively, but you also realize that at times it was hard to score. So you get out of here feeling good about this win. Ultimately, there was great pitching and defense to keep that other team off the board. You always feel good about a win like this. Let me look at something here. Shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. First for the victorious Barons, four runs on six hits. Nobody ever make it out of the city. Hardy got My profile. For those you can access your success and award by visiting. Player extra. Settings. I might look at settings here for a minute. Gameplay mode and the fix. I don't want to mess with that. Um, hitting, difficulty, dynamic. These are off. Uh, Offense. There's really nothing I can change here. I guess I'm not going to change anything. I didn't even change those skills, that's what's going on.
Okay, I see why that stuff was actually red. I didn't even notice that. But maybe I might be able to do better now. Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Birmingham Barons and the Tennessee Smokies. And now, please welcome your All right, we'll be back Tennessee to get this one started after Smokies. this. Your Tennessee Smokies. Okay, so uh, this is the home game. Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Caleb Killian. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. We'll elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the that velocity cool. seems to go up. The second base. So up next, David, David Jr. Jr. Come on now, get your pitch up there, kid. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. Kicks and deals. On the ground to short, Rodriguez collects. They get the force. That's out number three. End of one, and we're still scoreless. So now the DH spot, Romy Gonzalez. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. The 0-1. On the ground, right side, four. And he'll be safe at first. Why do you got to push different buttons? Why can't it be just one button? Well, you guys just like the big innings, different other combinations. Than hits or home runs or Jesus. Force, walks and errors. Free base runners, and they've been gifted with both so far this inning. And that will make any manager in the dugout just stew a little bit, and I'm sure he is right now. And that one handled, tags the runner. No throw here. First and third now with two out. The batter, the third baseman, Brian Ramos. Now it's the second now baseman, second David baseman. Jr. David Jr. Schultz checks the runner. Deluzio back in on a dive. Hey, let her rip. Let her rip. Let's go. I'm going to let it rip. Watching pitch. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. I think that's late. Measures six feet Too late, four yeah. inches. 230 pounds, and he was a ninth round draft pick back in 2016. And that chance handled. Fired to second. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one. One down. DJ Gladney getting ready to hit. One for two. This to third. Jordan goes to second for one. You don't throw the ball at all. The batter, the left fielder, Tyler. Here's the catcher, number 21. Carlos Perez. Here's a one-two. Trying to move him over here. And they tag him out. Now batting. 
Here's the second now baseman, back. David second Jr. Baseman. David. Junior measures six feet two inches, 210 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. And first offering is fouled off. Very late. The wind of the pitch. And that one handled. That ends the frame. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Seventh inning coming up. The Barons. Now the third baseman, Brian Ramos. The third baseman, Brian Ramos. On the ground, a second might be two. In plenty of time to first, and there are two down. Now batting the first baseman, DJ Gladney. Man at first. Here's the third baseman, Brian Ramos. One and two here. Ground ball left side could be two. Feed the second, that's one. And he'll eat it and be happy with the out. A well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Runner at first with two away. And next will be the cleanup hitter, David Jr. David Jr. Swings through that one. Oh, Wing. one. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Good. Swings, fouls it off, and he breaks his bat. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. Uh, and that's that. Man at first. Now and now the right fielder, the right number 27. Man. He's already homered here in this one. Ground ball up the middle. The feed for one that. to first. Double play. <laughs> Nicely done. Now that catcher, Carlos Perez. Oh, this is a nice sweep. Good way to finish this series. You're heading to another city for another one. Got to maintain the same focus. Whatever you were doing in this city, Man, make sure you're doing the same for. thing in the next first one. The Eat the same Bear. thing. Sleep Nine the same runs. way. Six, six, I need to practice with this game. Building did okay, but batting is horrible. I'm gonna do one more game here. A double A hitting coach touches base with a new arrival to the team. Improving your reaction time in the field can take you from defensive liability to game changer. 2008 Gold Glove Award winner Carlos Pena joins me. Carlos, what are some ways to improve? So I can do batting cages now. Okay. That might be the best bet. Hello and 
and welcome to Franco Park. Double A baseball on the show coming your way. It's the Tennessee Smokies and the Montgomery Biscuits. And now, first pitch coming at you right after the break. Montgomery Biscuits. All right, just about set to go. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Caleb Sampin. What's the word on him? Well, expect to see the ball in play a lot with him on the mound in this one, and that means the defense got to stay on your toes. I think he can help his guys out by working quickly so that guys don't have time for their minds to wander. He's going to try to force weak contact, miss the barrel of the bat. Command and movement is everything for this guy. And the right-hander deals on the ground. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Didn't not uh, come up with that throwing thing. I don't know what the hell's wrong with this game. Now it's gonna be David Jr. Hey, let her fly up there, huh? And he swings and oh, misses oh, at the three. initial offering. McKinstry yes. on at first, nobody out. Next offering misses, and that is ball one. Hit on the ground might be two. To second, there's one. Now to first, and it's a double play. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the second baseman, David Jr. David Jr. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. You know, this group of hitters need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. No outs, runner at first. Nick Schnell will hit next. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Santana. There's one out there, but that's all they'll get. Well, he's doing oh, a nice he won't throw the ball. Keeping the ball out of the air lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. In physical shit. Two outs, space is empty. Base, Stepping 24. in, Austin Shenton. He's 0 for 1. The 0 1. Hit weakly on the ground towards second. Junior handles. No play, that's an infield single. Now batting. Oh, you fucking game. So digging now in, batting. David Jr. Second base. David. I don't like this version this year. First, McKinstry <laughs> dives back in safely. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Sampin checks over to first, and he's back. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 oh, 2 now. With two strikes, Macy's too some early. Way too early. There what first is base, going on? trying to stay out of a double play here. Bounced up the middle, takes it himself for one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. So they go quietly there, midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Cooper Kinney. Cooper. Kitty. Trying to bunt his way on. 
The flip to the pitcher covering. They handle the bunt and get the out. Perhaps he rushed just a little bit. Now, now it's the second baseman, second baseman. David Jr. David. for the fourth time tonight. Junior. And first offering is fouled off. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. And he'll one. That's towards center. Schnell should have this one. Brings it in. Runner tags from third. He's in on the sack fly. It's 2-0. Well, these guys understand how yeah, important that, each run is, especially as you get closer the to the end of the ball game. Nice right. job right there to get that runner in from third. And, well, this is definitely a rarity, a one-pitch save. You come into the ball game, so much pressure, don't know what's going to happen, and fortunately, you make the pitch, you get the out, and everyone has it's a, a big side. One, 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 but Two I didn't your really final here in this one. one. That For Chris well. Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. For the biscuits, no run, three hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the. Let's see if we can get to the batting cages. So I can't do no uh, batting cage until the 17th, so. That building has got to be done something with. Don't like it. baseball fans and welcome some double a baseball coming at you it's the tennessee smokies and the montgomery biscuits first pitch coming your way next and now please welcome your montgomery biscuits almost ready to get underway Today's starting pitcher, Elvin Rodriguez. He may not dominate, but he always keeps the club in the game. If you can score runs, you have a really good chance to win with That's him on the mound today. The Base, base is loaded, David. nobody out. David Junior. Junior digs in now. Oh, now, here we go. Swings through that oh. one. Oh, and one. Well, this That's is a tough high. situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get out one hitter at a time. Right side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is a big first out. That is good. Now at the plate, the David Jr. Fly out his first time. David Jr. And there's a foul ball. Rodriguez goes six feet, three inches, 25 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Out there to center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? And the batter will be the shortstop, Alika Williams. He reached out a walk his first time. Thompson back to work. Right side, Junior picks it up. And he'll be safe at first. Now batting. That didn't show up last time. I don't know when it showed up, so I don't have prepared for it. And welcome back. Here's the second baseman, David Junior. And a pitch. 
Line drive, base hit, right center field. And just a single as they hustle the ball back to the infield. Now batter, designated hitter. Go ahead, run on base. Now the batter now, Esteban Quiroz. Hey, one for two. On the ground, two ball. Williams toss to second. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. I didn't do it. <laughs> and here's the catcher, Gavin Collins. Gavin Collins. And a pitch. Ground ball right side could be two. Safe at first as they can't make the play. David Jr. Now at the yep. play. One Son for three. And go, things could go. change quickly here with one swing. Come on, baby, square it up. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Oh, uh, one of these weird ass pitching. Hey, get your pitch, see through, huh? Let's go. Swing and a miss. Stop. As he was out front that time. Hey, let's go, big fell. The pitch. In the dirt, blocked. Back to back curveballs and back to back whiffs. And I tell you, I what, can't read that pitch when they do that round. And clearly, he wasn't picking up that breaking ball at all. So here's the cleanup hitter, David Jr. The quarters are in, middle infield playing back for the double play. And first offering is fouled off. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And a pitch. And a base hit right there. In to score from third. Back even, it's 3-3. Well done, drives in the run. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance, nice extension. And he made it out front for the line drive. Now yeah, a huge at bat in this game coming up. Two on, one out. Next is the designated hitter, Esteban Quiroz. Oh, you know it's that date, right? <laughs> Wait for your pitch up there, huh? The one, two. On the ground, could be two. Williams over to second, double play. And that sends us to the bottom of the ninth. We are tied. So a ninth. Now the third baseman, number 11. The third baseman, Trevor Murray. Man at second. Bounce to the right side. Tosses to first, and there are two outs. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Four three, our final score. A one run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Montgomery Biscuits. Four runs on nine hits. Two errors. They left seven men on base. I was just going to go to the next game. Three runs, 12 hits. Two errors. They left 18 runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and five minutes. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Tennessee Smokies and the Montgomery Biscuits. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this.
just about set to go and pitching in this game Ian Seymour a really good outing for him last time scattered two runs was attacking hitters getting ahead in the count great performance we'll see if he can do it again in this one low throw and he can't dig it out and he'll be safe at first Top of the second. Now it's the second baseman, David Jr. Second baseman, David Jr. And he deals. Line drive, base hit, right field. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time. And next is the designated hitter, Esteban Quiroz. The designated hitter, Esteban Quiroz. Hey, have a rip like you can. Here we go. Got him swinging. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Man at first with one gone. Here's the left fielder, Jordan Wogu. And that's in there for strike one. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Still, what do I want to steal for? At the belt and fires. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Throw to second. Ow! You know, when you've got cooler temperatures like this, sometimes it's a little harder to get some offense Man, going because guys steal, just so. don't want to feel the sting in their hands. They don't barrel it up. So being aggressive there, trying to get into scoring position by stealing a bag, I get it. Sometimes you just have to try to manufacture some runs, especially in temperatures like this. Kyle Mansardo getting First ready to hit. hit. 0 for 1 Kyle. with a fly out. Mansardo. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a bouncer. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Good two-strike hitting right there. Now and next will be the cleanup the hitter, base. David Jr. David. And he's already Junior. singled in this game. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. These guys have come out ready to swing the bats early in the count and swing it often. If you want to score some runs, have an offensive explosion, that can be a route to doing it. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. The other way. Infante puts the squeeze on that one. And that's the third out. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. We're midway in the fourth. We're tied. So two away with nobody on. And now here is Gavin Collins. Grounded out his first time. Kicks and fires. On the ground right side. No throw. He's safe at first. Why won't he throw the ball? I'm gonna smack him if I could. Base is empty. One away. Here's the second baseman, David Jr. One for two. Out to center. Makes a nice grab and a full sprint. Two down. That's the ball. So up next, batter, Cooper Kinney. Six. Second baseman, Cooper Kinney. And he hits a ground ball right side. The throw to first, and there's two away. Now batting, shortstop, Alika Williams. So two on, but two away. Now the left fielder, number 97, 
for the fourth time tonight. Right-handed reliever. On the ground. And no throw. He's into first easily. Well, you have to take care of the pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain Damn point it. where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at-bats. This was a fun one to watch. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at ML. Now that could be it, guys. Uh, if you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.